Today's vlog is brought to you by cruiseline.com where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. Good morning. We are having some gnarly weather and I am gonna show you guys just how gnarly it is. Ready? I had to put my bag down because It's pouring and I love a tropical storm. You can hear the wind howling, you guys. This is insane. The ship is listing. It's really dramatic. The pool is closed off. I don't know why, but welcome to our rainy sea day. Yeah! Can you hear the wind howling? Is it just me? Look at the water. It's like flowing down. as quickly as the rain came, it went. And everything is now just soaking wet. It's so beautiful out here right now though. It smells like the sea and fresh rain. Love it. I'm thinking these people probably didn't know it was gonna pour rain when they set their towels out this morning. I'm kind of disappointed to come back to these soggy guys. Nobody ever said 9 a.m. is too early to go in the hot tub after a cool storm while your son and husband are still sleeping. Guilty mom pleasures, right? <laughs> And from where we are here on the Carib deck, you can look up at the bridge and see the water just cascading off of it. Like when you're in the shower and the water comes off your chin in like a big line, it looks like that. So let's go check it out. Well, you don't have to come out here. Ah! Oh my gosh. So now if I plan on today being a pool day, I would be super disappointed. But being a California girl who's used to the drought, this is my idea of an awesome day. I love it. I love that it's thundering. I love that it just starts raining and stops raining constantly. You have no idea, no way of predicting it. People keep putting their towels out by the pool and then having to like bring them in and put them in the towel bin. And then if it gets sunny, they get clean towels, dry towels and put them back out. It's crazy. This is fun and for us, California people, it's kind of thrilling, honestly. <laughs> Kid Cam is back. What's up, Kid Cam? Stuff. Stuff. Are you just looking at the rain? Mm hmm And the thunder? Yep. Pretty cool, huh? Now I'm gonna ask you some questions. You're gonna ask me some questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you like most about this tropical weather? What do I like most about this tropical weather? I like that it's unpredictable. I like that um, I can hear the thunder, and I like that it's different, because I'm not used to this tropical weather. How about you? I like that it is very rainy, and we don't get much of that in California. It's true, huh? We live in the desert, basically, huh? Yeah. So, this is the view we have right now. Pretty awesome. And I think that's about all for today. Right, Mom? Sounds good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
We're having a great sea day so far, but the day is going by way too fast. We had another time change yesterday. So after Costa Rica and on our way to Grand Cayman, they set us back to East Coast time. So when we were in Costa Rica, we had fallen back to, uh, we had fallen back one hour and now we're one ahead. So we lost that hour today, which is kind of a bummer, especially on formal night. But there's something I actually wanted to share with you guys. Um, I was looking through the room service menu the other day, and I'm just looking at all the food, la la la, all the dining options, and I stumbled upon, at the very end, they had their prices for their for drinks and things like that to be brought to your room. And so I always assumed, of course, you can have beers and sodas and stuff like that brought to your room, bottles of wine if you wanted to, and that if you wanted to buy a bottle of liquor, you could, but the, I assumed that it would be like a $100 bottle, right? Well not on princess on princess you can actually buy small bottles um they vary from 375 down to 350 milliliter bottles of things so they're basically like they're not the sample size or the single serve kind but they're kind of middle of the road and they're really inexpensive so i'm actually going to buy a bottle of my favorite gin i'm going to buy a 375 milliliter of bombay sapphire for 20 bucks so we're going to call room service right now and see how this works and see if it's just as easy as it seems and if there's any strings attached or whatever so let's give it a go oh hi there i'd like to have a bottle of bombay sapphire delivered to my room please one bombay sapphire yes can I have Kylie your cabin number? C one zero seven. In which deck, madam? Uh, Carib. Carib one zero seven. Yes. Okay, thank you for coming to room service. Great. How long do you think that will take? It will take between fifteen to twenty minutes. Oh, wonderful! Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. Okay, that was <laughs> so easy. Definitely. I don't know what I expected, but I kind of thought they'd say something like they were out of it or whatever. But I want to give you guys an idea of some of the other things that are offered, and then I'll have my husband take a little picture. But they do have they do have single serving of Bloody Mary mix, um, and then getting into the other um, spirits that they have, they have bourbon, they have Jim Beam, Crown Royal, Jack Daniels. They have two types of Scotch. They have one type of cognac, of co cognac, cognac. Of course, it's Covassier, and then they have two types of vodka, rum, and gin. So I think that is really cool. These vary, you guys, from fifteen to twenty-eight dollars. That is not bad. It is a really, really good option, and it's definitely a little bit easier than smuggling your booze on. Let's just be honest. So, our little pre-formal night tip of the day for you guys. Come on. Sorry. No problem. How are you? Hello. Oh, thank you so much. That's cute. Yeah, thank you. Here, honey, bring him his tip. <laughs> thank you. Okay, here is your tip. Thank you so much. Sure. Here, you hold this for mommy. Good mm -hmm. mom alert. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Bella. Mom. Have a great day. Yeah, bye bye. So. Take care. <laughs> here, son, hold my booze while I sign for this. Okay, no, seriously, why did I order this little bottle? Because I have discovered some secret mixers that you can get complimentary on the ship, and that will be grapefruit juice and orange juice from breakfast in the morning. So if you just order a little glass of orange juice or grapefruit juice or whatever kind of juice you want, you could probably even ask for cranberry, you have a nice little mixer for an evening cocktail. So let's go see how this works with our new little bottle of Bombay Sapphire, which is High adorable, five. by the way. High five. Okay, thanks for helping, buddy. Okay. Welcome to the Cruise Tips TV bar. This is my adorable little bottle of Bombay Sapphire that I just ordered for $20 plus gratuity, 15% gratuity, which I think is totally fair for onboard prices because I definitely am going to get a lot more cocktails out of this than if I'm going to the bar. So for comparison's sake, I want to show you guys what it looks like next to a 12 ounce or 500 milliliter bottle of water. This gin is 375 milliliters. I'm getting so te technical today. What's that all about? <laughs> I just want to show you guys like really what the size is because sometimes it's difficult to be able to tell. So as I mentioned, I got some little juices this morning at breakfast. So grapefruit and orange. So we're going to put a little orange juice in here. Okay. And a little grapefruit juice. We have our trusty little ice bucket that our stateroom stewardess refills for us. And then, oh no, I don't know if I can get it open. Okay, yeah, no problem. And then I'm going to pour a few capfuls into my little juice bottle here. Okay, this is a lot of capfuls. It's a small cap, you guys. Don't judge. So I think that will make a fun little makeshift cocktail and I can save a few bucks. And you guys know how I feel about gin and grapefruit. It's my favorite thing in the world, so why not just make it in your room? Okay, maybe a little too strong. Cheers. 
<laughs> Lobster night. Lobster night was a success. It was delicious. We had a great time in the main dining room. Everybody was wearing tuxedos, including our waiters. Very formal cruise this time. I've seen a lot of fancy and fun twists on formal wear, including a guy in a bright red jacket getting his picture taken with his wife in front of a Christmas tree. It's actually really adorable, but a lot of, a lot of fun, a lot of festive things going on in the ship tonight. So we have been taking full advantage of our photo package, walking around looking for different settings for family photos, and we're feeling like we're getting the most out of the package. Haven't mentioned this before, but what we did is we got an email about a week before our cruise for a discounted all you can, I guess, all the photos you could take for $1.99 instead of the onboard price of $2.49. Well, in the first four days of our cruise, we weren't really getting the most of it. We didn't feel like the photographers were out, but we're feeling a little bit better now. We've got some great Panama Canal pictures and we'll be sure to show some of them to you guys on social media. So be sure to check it out. Thanks for tuning in today. Tomorrow's a fun one. We're going to Grand Cayman, so we'll see you then.